Hey everyone, this is Daryl, aka The D from the Simply Incredible Podcast, and today I've got uh, my comic book, action figure, and pop vital haul, and for I don't know how many weeks in a row now, months in a row now, I can't find any good action figures, so hopefully before long I will find some. But we'll start off with our comic books, and I did find some pops today as well. Uh, let's see, let's get that comic books, get me or all right. Um, we'll start off with, you know, we'll do the back issues last too. <laughs> we start off with the uh, non-Marvel and non-DC, and we start off with uh, Animosity number six uh, from Aftershock Comics. This has been a great series so far. I'm absolutely loving it. So uh, definitely check it out. Really, really good. Um, basically, if animals learn to all speak and communicate with each other, uh, they would learn that maybe us humans aren't all that good after all. <laughs> but there's some humans that are that they try to protect and help. So there you go. Definitely check that out. Really good. Uh, this is one that I really like that is both informative and just a good comic. It is the comic book history of comics. And it, it gives you a, so far, this is issue five. It's been giving you a really good history of you know, where comics started and different genres that it's gone through so far. And this one is um, from 1955 to 1965. And you got some of the, the legends where they really started the comic book industry, which I think is great. So I can't wait to dig into this one as well. Uh, this one, again, another Aftershock title that has been really, really good. Uh, this is Rough Riders, Riders of the Storm number two. Uh, the first uh, Rough Rider series uh, was very good. So definitely getting into this one as well. And this one right here is the second printing of The Old Guard. Uh, first issue was one of the, the best books I've read in a long, long time. Absolutely amazing stuff. And speaking of that, issue two. There we go. Cannot wait to dig into this. Be really, really good. Now, let's go to Marvel. We start off with All New X-Men, number 19, The Fateful Finale. Now, I don't know if this means it's actually the end of the series or what, but it looks pretty good. I like, I like the title. I love the characters on the front, so definitely give that a shot. And this one right here, the, the next two, I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Glad it's finally out. It is Inhumans Prime number one. So glad I, that's finally out. Cannot wait to dig into it. And it's going to be so good, so very good. At least I hope it is. Cannot wait. Uh, next is X-Men Prime. Uh, Gold and Blue should be coming up before too much longer. X-Men Gold and X-Men Blue. Can't wait for those as well. I love the looks, old school X-Men style. Absolutely love it. Cannot wait to get into this one. This week, I, I tell you what, this has been about the most exciting week of comics I've had in a while. So I'm really excited about so many of these. Uh, X-Men Primo, uh, they had the Venomized cover. I thought this one looked really good. So I went ahead and picked that one up. I've been really kind of passing on most of the Venom covers, but I thought that one looks really cool. And let's go to my DC. There's only two Rebirth, so we'll just put those right on in there. Uh, we start off with Dark Knight 3, The Master Race. This is book eight. I don't know how many more books they're coming with. I thought it was you know, normally like, like a four-issue series, but it is just, just going and going. So I guess we'll see, right? <laughs> yeah, Carrie Kelly and the old mutant there. That looks really cool. It's kind of a throwback right there. I, wonder if that, I don't know if that's the A copy or the B copy. Uh, next, uh, number six, Harley's Little Black Book, this time featuring Lobo. Who's doing the art on this one? Is that Amanda Connor? Yep, Amanda Connor. There you go. And speaking of Amanda Connor, uh, the Commandi Challenge, I picked up the Amanda Connor variant on this one. The version, I should say. There you go. I need to read these. I, I haven't even started reading them yet. So we're on number three out of uh, 12, three of 12. So, and uh, each one had, each week they have, uh, well, each month they have two different artists doing covers for it. So that, this month was Amanda Connor, and I can't think of who did the other one. 
I know Neil Adams did one. Uh, uh, I, was it one or two? Issue one or issue two? I think it was issue two, I believe. But uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, Suicide Squad and the Banana Splits. This month they've had, well, this week they had three, di three or four different uh, comics. So they had different groups tied in together. And this is kind of cool. Uh, bonus featurette, the Snagglepuss Chronicles. You guys know, love me some Snagglepuss, so this ought to be cool. Uh, Suicide Squad and the Banana Splits. And I have no idea who the Banana Splits was. And one of the guys, well, he's like, man, it's an old comic, man. It's an old TV show, man. It's really awesome. Definitely check it out. I was like, all right, I'll check it out. <laughs> uh, got the B copy right there, which looks really cool. I really like that one. I think I like the first one a little bit better, but this one's pretty cool as well. I don't know. I really don't know what to expect in that. Really don't. And uh, Batman Rebirth, there were two annuals that came out today. Uh, Titans, face-to-face -face with the Justice League. I wasn't going to get this, but I was like, that's, that's a pretty cool uh, title. So let's see what's going on. Face-to-face -face with the Justice League. And uh, Batgirl and Supergirl, the Prison Break. In Prison Break, not the Prison Break. <laughs> so... Give that a shot and see what's going on here. Plus, Return of Riot Black. I don't know who Riot Black is. So we'll find out that too. And uh, some... Like, okay, we'll do the... <laughs> my uh, three picks for this week. Yeah, I think this is the order we're going to go in. Um, Green Lantern and Space Ghost. Featuring a uh, bonus feature... Rough and Ready. I thought that copy, that cover looked amazing. There, This is the A copy. Yeah, this is the A copy. There's also a B copy, but this one I thought was the best one of the two. Great looking cover. I really like that one. Uh, next, the Ghost Rider. I picked up the Venomized cover. Looks like a great cover. <laughs> so I picked that one up. I wasn't going to get Ghost Rider, but that cover is amazing looking. There we go. That's great. That's just a beautiful cover. And my pick of the week this week is uh, Dark Knight 3 Master Race Book 8. We got Wonder Woman on there. And that is great looking cover. That's phenomenal. Let's see. Who did that? Um, I can't tell. I can't, I can't read his name. I can't read your name. Uh, it's a man or a woman. I can't tell. It's a great looking cover. Let me, you know what? Let me... See what's got it on the inside. Let's see here. Story fan cover. Andy Kubert. Andy Kubert. That's who did that one. Andy Kubert did that one. This is this is the A copy. So the other one was the B copy. Now we know. There we go. And my back issues, um, this one right here was is a recent back issue, and it is Cinderella Serial Killer Princess. This is part two, uh, issue two. Um, I haven't read, started reading these yet. I can't wait to dig into them. So, um, man, I got so much to read this week. I got a whole stack that I'm just waiting to jump into. And I've been uh, looking at some of the old X-Men stuff, and some of the covers are so good. And I, I was looking through the Astonishing X-Men, uh, some of the uh, Josh Weldon, uh, Josh Whedon uh, stuff, and I picked up a few of these. Uh, we got issue six, which looks amazing, right there. Uh, issue eight, and this one right here, this one might be my favorite one of this group, right there, with Wolverine with the moon behind him. I think that just that's a gorgeous cover. That's awesome. Yeah, I guess I probably shouldn't say Wolverine that put the word gorgeous behind it. <laughs> it's an awesome cover. And uh, number 13. There we go. Looks like an amazing looking cover there as well. Lo love the look of the fire behind him with that shadowing and stuff. I think it looks so good. Oh, that just looks so good. And the last one, number 16. There we go. Great looking covers. Great looking covers. So I just saw those, thought, yeah, got, got them pretty cheap. So let's go ahead and pick those up. 
And that's the comic book portion. Uh, now some uh, pop vinyls. I was over at uh, Walgreens and they had a couple that I thought, thought might as well go and pick those up. We've got Kane from the WWE. Which I think looks awesome. That is old school Kane right there. I love it. From back in the day when he first come up. Had the scarred face and everything supposedly where he was burned. <laughs> that undertaking burned him as a kid. Supposedly it was the storyline. And one of my all-time favorites, maybe my all-time favorite wrestler, Shawn Michaels. They had the Heartbreak Kid. So, yeah, I'll definitely get that. Old school, got the mullet rocking from the day. <laughs> yeah, this is old, old school Shawn Michaels right here. <laughs> Look at the, 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 the pants. <laughs> like the zebra pants. <laughs> hey, I can see him on the back. There's a good view of him right there. <laughs> That is awesome. To me, that is awesome. Um, and, let's see, where's my knife at? I got an order in from Amazon. Um, and let's see if the condition is good. Amazon, for me anyway, has been notoriously bad when it comes to shipping pop vinyls. And man, I hope I don't have to send this back because I was really looking forward to this. Okay, this time, okay, they, they put, I won't say they put bubble wrap in it. There, there's your entire, the entire bubble wrap. And one, one of the bubbles is, is about flat. So there we go. So here we go. Picked up two of these, one for me and one for one of my friends. Um, got a ding on the corner of this one. That goes to someone else, not me. <laughs> Let's see. But this is. Probably the one that I wanted most. I got a little ding on that one too. From when I saw the, uh, um, was it the uh, Emerald City Comic Con? And this is the one I probably want. Yeah, it's got a big ding on there. Oh gosh, Amazon, you're killing me. But we got Michigan J Frog. Uh, it's one, I, the cartoon itself, I think, is one of the funniest cartoons. And got a big crease on the top of it right there. Oh, come on, Amazon. How are y'all this bad at packaging? You're killing me, guys. Or, or girls, guys and girls. <laughs> Everybody's doing the packaging on the stuff. It's absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. But I finally got my Michigan J-Frog. So I'm happy about that. Even though, again, condition, not, not meant at all. Let's see this one right here. Is this one in slightly better condition? Uh, I got a little crease down the side on that one. Oh, man, come on. But anyway. Michigan J Frog. This is one of the ones I really wanted. Now the only other one I really need to try to find is Dino Mutt. I got Blue Falcon, so I hope I can find Dino Mutt. Uh, but it was pretty expensive, so I might end up just passing on that. But that's all I got. My comic book, my pop vinyl haul. Uh, what all did you guys get this week? I uh, hope you guys if you get get stuff ordered. I hope you, they come in better condition than they're coming to me. <laughs> but that's all I got. And you guys have an incredible day.